Hey guys and welcome back to the money game with AC. In this channel we'll talk about stocks but we'll also talk about money. How to make it, how to grow it and how to protect it. In this video I want to quickly go over Neil's stock and what to expect next week. Is this something you should sell off because we may potentially have another red week ahead of us or is this an opportunity to buy more shares because we are at a runoff. Alright guys, let's get into it. Neo stock is down 18% on last week only you know at a point we were hitting back towards that 45 mark but <sighs> didn't hold and now we're back to 36 after hitting the bottom at 34. So actually the news around Friday came on Neo being forced to halt production and closing the, 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 the factories for five straight days that lower the Q1 deliveries forecast as we know they are uh, kind of maneuvering the cheap shortage especially with the canal schools crisis right now so instead of having 19 um, I mean 20 20,500 deliveries as expected um, on and, and mentioned on earning calls uh, uh, last quarter we are now heading towards first quarter 19,500 so about a thousand um, um, units lower than what we expected and this is usually initially or mainly what drove the the huge sell-off on on Friday but this is something I think personally you know again personally I think this is maybe an overreaction from the market because this is something that Neo um, mention on Q4 earnings as we go into Q1 2021 they you know want the market and investors around this cheap shortage that is coming in and the delays around the source canal crisis didn't really help and usually having more weight onto the supply chain around the world but majorly for the auto industry so for me, the fact that it's an overreaction is because not only companies within the sector, you know, automobile sector, the EV sector, are expected, you know, to be impacted as well as NEO, maybe not to the same extent, but kind of the same extent anyways, um, with the chip shortage, you know, not only that, but other industries are impacted by this whole canal swirls thing because it's mainly the only or the main canal that is being used to get goods shipped from Asia where we have most of the factories and then all around the globe you know the Americas and Europe because of this thing IKEA said it could potentially have supply chain issues because of the school kind of blockage so since I mean even if this um, um, this huge boat um, has been stuck for five, 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 five days even if it's get deluged the goods still would take time to get unloaded because the ports will be packed because tons, 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 tons of ships are waiting just to pass through. Not counting those who had to go around other routes in order to get to their destinations, costly more money that would potentially harm or hurt the revenues for the first quarter of these companies affected anyhow or what it, uh, somehow by this by this kind of so to me it's really what comes down personally to my um, opinion around this being an overreaction now um, another thing to take into consideration is the stock market being affected by by um, hedge funds being obliged or forced to liquidate positions last Friday we saw almost 10.5 billion worth of stocks in block liquidated by Goldman Sachs because of their Archegos capital management being forced to liquidate positions because of margin calls and because of that it may end up being I mean I wouldn't be surprised if other hedge funds um, especially involved into the EV market may potentially also be impacted by this I process go down on other stocks you know and they will also fall to liquidated positions so these two events give the, I mean give us two scenarios so it may potentially we may potentially see another sell-off on NEO um, ahead of next week but I wouldn't expect this in case we do have one pullback to be a major one so maybe one two percent but that will be again depending on another reaction or maybe any and um, a collateral damage of these hedge funds being forced to liquidate positions now 
the fact that we did hit kind of the lows if you look at you know this month if you look at the, the six month back you know every time we hit a low it was kind of where we stand right now around the 35 even here we were at 40 you know but yeah 30 so i don't see this going back to 30 this is my personal opinion because um with the expectations of neo for this quarter and for this year i definitely see neo and i'm not the same i mean i'm, I'm the, the only one saying this maybe closing at 60 70 or even 80 for the year you know maybe around december because there is still a huge run-up for the ev market sector to go through you know as we have uh, uh lee we have um of course tesla um but neo is getting into europe maybe we'll get into that in a different um, 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 video but there is huge upside potential for the ev market sector as a whole so based on these guys i will say trying to guess where neo will be next week in case we have a run-up definitely based on the overreaction i do think we had on friday then the market or investors will say hey maybe we had a mistake we did a mistake on friday setting this up because every either single company involved into trading and by trading i mean a global trade will be impacted by this whole canal swells and uh, is getting more weight into the cheap shortage Definitely NEO is not the only one impacted. So maybe they will get back into the trade, pushing the price maybe upward to the 30s, to the 40s, maybe to the 43s. I don't know, we'll see. But that's where I kind of see this going into the two scenarios as we head into next week. But definitely I do, personally I do own NEO and I'm not trying to, 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 you know, to get anyone to buy or sell. I'm just seeing what I'm doing personally. I still, hold my shares because I'm more on a long-term play for this EV stock. I do think Neo Neo it's a great player, not only with the whole design on the cars, but also with the whole business model they built to differentiate themselves from Tesla and others. So I'm here for the long term. So based on that, if it drops lower to you know the 35, then I may have some. If it drops, if it doesn't drop and it goes up, then I will just sit back, chill, and um, and see how it goes for for this week. So this is what I'm doing, guys. Let me know what you guys are doing in Neo stock and if there's anything else you want to add based on the different facts I interpreted in this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye. -bye.